How's it going guys? Uh, it's Carter here. I'm just going to give you a quick little insight into the market and what I'm actually thinking is going to end up happening. Um, we're, going to start, we're going to start here on the daily. Don't pay attention to that. We'll get into it in just one second. Alright, so on the daily here, um, you can see this is uh, from the lows of January, back on January the 23rd. <clears throat> this uh, The market grinded up slowly and actually found its first resistance where it got rejected pretty hard. So that's what I'm going to assume is going to be actual resistance. This right here, this was panic, invasion, the panic of the invasion. So um, I really just overlook it considering how bad, I mean how quickly, you know, we pumped back up from these lows. So I just overlook it uh, completely. Um, so this is where I'm, where I see support at. You know, we're uh, currently hovering around that uh, area right now. Um, it's not too strong, obviously. We had a nice little push today um, off these lows back up to about 92, I mean 39, 3 or 4, um, which I thought was going to happen. And um, I released a little scalp I did on Twitter. Um, it was pretty obvious to me. I'll probably break down that trade um, later on. But if you're looking at the 2 hour, we're going to look at this fractal right here. Okay, um, I really love fractals and uh, people. You know, they have, you know, some people just don't understand, I guess, but um, we forgive them anyway. Uh, fractals, I mean, they've ran this game completely. I mean, honestly, it's a fractal inside a fractal. That's what, that's what this market is. It's just most markets are, I mean, that's what I've noticed is, um, especially with Bitcoin, I'm obviously that's what I mainly trade is Bitcoin. Fractals, it's just fractals all the time. But, anyways, you can see these are very, very similar areas right a fractal is not going to be perfect to the last one it's just going to be very similar very similar you know a little a little right up fall off fall off a little found some support slowly ran it up cut off again now we'll look into the rsi trends let's look at the two hour here um same area right here a little grind up bang, a little grind up and then drops back down. Uh, just like I said, fractals are not always going to be the same. Um, so I'm expecting this to replay out pretty, pretty close. Um, I'm I may look for a scalp um, here at the um, at a bounce um, on a, what was it 38.5. Um, I'm trying to find that area. What I seen a second ago. I didn't write it. I didn't jot it down on a different chart. Let me see this real quick. Um, yeah, uh, okay, okay. Um, so we got a nice little wick there. You see that? Uh, some wicks that have found support. I'm going to look to scalp that area. I'm going to try to, at least maybe once. I guess we'll see when the low time frames, when they come to that area. But for the most part, it looks like shit. Um, like I said, I may look for a scalp in this area here. But for that, I'm just going to let it play out. Um, I'd like to get a nice little rebound so I could short um, with less leverage on a higher amount um, off the 38.5 here. Hope we get a nice little bounce back up to 39, and um, I'll short it again. Um, you know, if you follow me for a while, I've had the overlook of, you know, we're going below 30K. <laughs> we're definitely going below 30K. Um, on the daily, you know, it's done out at resistance here. Got burnt out. Um Looks like it's gonna go. It's gonna go lower, guys. Um, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I lean towards. Um, the conditions of the world. I mean, yes, Bitcoin was made for these conditions of the world right now, but there's still, <laughs> it's still not the right conditions. You know, if you understand what I say, like, um, if your whole country is about to be, you know, have a catastrophe. You know, it'd be super. You know, we're gonna lose energy, and you know, it's gonna be a fucking catastrophic disaster. You know, nothing's nothing sounds good about that for Bitcoin, considering you need the energy. <laughs> you know, and um, you know, no, you can't buy everything with Bitcoin yet. You know, people are going to need things they can actually trade. You know, if something bad happens, you know, and it looks like something bad, and we may not be to the worst part yet. But um, you know, that's an obvious double top to me. Complacency, got some longs, exit pump. That was the exit punt probably, and uh, we go down. You know, I'll release that chart later again. Uh, but you know, we're gonna go, we're gonna come touch those wicks. I bet we'll look into the weekly real quick. Uh, what do we see here? 
you know, obviously a big V-shape reversal down at a 30K, 31, 32 actually. Um, it wicked down, obviously, the 28K. I remember this area. And, um, you know, got blocked out. Basically, resistance here. You can see resistance on the weekly there. Um, you know, makes sense, right? You know, it could not get above that. And now, <laughs> it doesn't look good for Bitcoin, guys. Um, you know, I can sit there and wish all I want. But, um, yeah, we're going down. Um, that's my point of view. Hopefully, we get a nice short back above 39K. But I'm out.